What's a final judgment? What can a consumer expect? Let's say for somebody who's already in the foreclosure process and they're coming up and they're going to get a final judgment. What does that mean and what should those people do? Well, once a final judgment is entered, like I discussed with the summary judgment, if that's granted, there will be a final judgment issued and filed with the court. You'll get a copy of it. What it will include is a sale date. Depending on how you fought through the foreclosure case, uh, the statute only requires between 20 and 35 days for a sale date to take place. So if you didn't hire an attorney, you didn't do anything, you didn't go to court, it is likely that a sale date can be issued in that 20 to 35 day sale date. So you would really need to figure out where you're going and um, or see if there's something that you can fight to cancel that foreclosure sale. Is it possible to get that date changed? It is, and sometimes that happens. It's something else we've seen with all these all these foreclosures, a lot of times sale dates get continued. It's not a guarantee. Right. You can do it. You can try and fight for it. Uh, your attorney can fight for it. Sometimes the lender's bank attorney does it on their own, but again, it is not a guarantee. So if that happens and you find yourself all of a sudden with this final judgment and a sale date of you know, January 31st, you need to do something. Call an attorney or pack, you know, pack your stuff and be ready to leave if, that's, because, if, if you're not going to fight that. Because if yeah, I was going to say, because we've, I've spoken to people who've gotten the final judgment mm -hmm. and the bank, here's the worst part. They've got the final judgment and the bank's still telling them, don't worry okay. about it. Right. We're going to modify your loan. Right. You're not going to have to get out. Next thing you know, the sheriff shows up, time to get out. So one hand never knows what the other hand's doing. That's why I like lawsuits, and again, sorry to say this, but I prefer when I have an attorney on the other side that I can hold their feet to the fire. Right. In other words, I go to the judge and say, Your Honor, they told me they were going to modify this loan. Why are we still pushing ahead? If they're going to do that, then let's do it. If we're going to go to mediation, let's mediate. Let's not keep going with the lawsuit until this person has a fair opportunity to settle their case. And if they do, great. Both parties go home, happy. If they don't, then we continue the litigation process, but they can't have it both ways. And that's what I see the consumer getting before the lawsuit. Right. Unequal bargaining power, they have all the control, they're pushing it through the system, and they're saying, on the other hand, oh no, don't do this, we're working right. with you. But the lawyer, because he's getting paid to take your home. Yeah. That's make what he's doing. Sure, that's why it's important to make sure your attorney, your attorney is going to communicate with the with the lender's attorney and will know what's going on in court. Right. You, you may not have any idea, and you're listening to the bank and this year telling you, Nothing's going on. Meanwhile, you have a sale date in two weeks that right. you didn't know about. 